Welcome back guys to Crypto for Life channel. Today I would like to show you the 17 tips and tricks inside trading you, you might didn't know. Let's dive in. First one, it's watch list. Basically, we can go, for example, to the symbol search and we can find immutable X on a spot on a buy beat. If I would like to add this uh, trading pair to my watch list, I go in here to the flag and shoot the flag. For example, it's going to be the red one. All right, so I add this trading pair to my watch list and I can do the same with all trading pairs. But I recommend you to organize your watch list. For example, I got a red list, YouTube list, my trades. In trades, I kept all the trading pair what I trade most often. And here's a Binance list with 286 trading pair. How I added all this trading pair? Do you think I added my manually? Of course not. I would like to show this useful website. It's sandwich.finance. It's trading you watch list in one place. And here's the OKEX. Here's a Bitebit. Here's a Binance. Here's a, a KuCoin, Huobi, Bitfinex, and almost all main exchanges. For example, I would like to add OKEX spot USDT markets. I click it here and download just a basic text file. Now we go into the watch list press import list, go into our folder and just upload our list. And now we got OKEX USDT spot markets. We can press here, rename and press OKEX. Done. Our watch list is done with 328 trading pairs. Next feature, it's a technical analysis from TradingView. For example, we choose Cardano. We go in here and choose technical. Press it and we can open the full technical analysis based on oscillators, based on moving averages from TradingView. We can track all main time frames. And for example, we go into 15 minute time frame, Cardano, USDT, trading pair, oscillators showing us by how it's counting. Here, all lists of main oscillators, some of them showing the neutral signal, some of them showing the buy signal, some of them sell. So the TradingView count and showing the average. One sell, seven neutral, three to buy. Moving averages, the same story. We got a strong sell, 11 showing us strong sell, one neutral, three buy. And summary, we got a sell, 12 for sell, eight neutral, six buy. On one hour time frame will be moving average buy. On four hour time frame will be summary buy, oscillator is neutral, moving average buy. One day, Sell, sell, neutral. Personally, I'm not recommending you to trade based on this data. You have to do your own analysis uh, in some specific time frame based on your trading strategy. Next feature is indicator templates. If you so often use the same indicators, you can create your own template. I would like to show on my indicator example. It's ADZ, take profit and trade on. So for example, I choose so often three indicators. Now I go into indicator template and press save indicator template trading today. We go to another trading pair, for example, algo and go into indicator template and choose trading today. Press it and all three indicators open on total different charts. By default, trading view give you the six templates, what we can use. And for example, I can mark like favorite trading today template and for example uh, oscillators and now the magic you save a lot of time because you got your two favorites templates and you can choose between the templates so it saves you a lot of time next feature it's multi time frame on one screen we go into layouts choose any layout would you like to use i most often use the second one and i got two screens uh, for example it's algo and four hour time frames but on this screen i would like to track four hour time frame and on this one I would like to track the five minute time frame. It's really useful because you don't have to uh, every single time just uh, switch between the time frames. You can see everything what's going on with your specific coin uh, and your entries on one screen. Another feature how you can use this layout, you can compare the two different coins. For example, you track algo and you would like to see what's going on the same time with a Bitcoin on four hour time frame. Here. If you track one coin and you want to choose another one, most likely you go into the watch list, choose another one, uh, scroll it down, find the name, find the ticker, or go in here and find a symbol, for example, Akala Network. But you can save a lot of time and you don't need to go anywhere. You just start typing 
I would like to track GMT use the T and choose. Next one, I would like to track Solana. Sol use the T. Got it. Next feature is for the time frames. Here on the right corner, you got your favorite time frames. How to choose and how to add the favorites. You just open the time frames and mark with the stars. How to choose the custom time frame. You just go down, choose the hours and add, for example, two hour time frame, like a custom one. And if you want to choose some specific time frames, you usually go into time frames tools and choose the right one. But you can save a lot of times using the simple feature. Just start type the numbers, for example, 40 minutes. And we go to some specific time frame. We want to track the one minute time frame. We type one, one minute time frame. If you would like to track one hour time frame, you have to type 60 minutes. If you would like to track two hour time frame, you have to type 120 minutes. So all intervals in minutes. Next really useful feature is comparing. We go into near the ticker, press plus. For example, we got a Bitcoin USDT trading pair and we would like to compare Bitcoin to the gold. We type gold and we can track the same scale percentage, new price scale or new pen. If we choose the same scale, we got on the chart the gold. We can track the new price scale or new pen. In most cases, I just use a new price scale like this one. And you can track how the gold perform here, the price of gold. And here's how the Bitcoin perform. We go into daily time frame and we can find out. So the Bitcoin just copy paste the gold price movement. Bitcoin drop and gold rise up. Bitcoin just follow. Another thing is what you can track is, for example, the Bitcoin dominance on the Bitcoin chart, BTCD. Bitcoin dominance, new price scale. And you can see the percentage of Bitcoin dominance. Personally, I so often use the trend lines. How to draw the straight trend line? If I use the trend line like this one, it's hard to draw it straight. Even if I use the magnet, anyway, it's hard to draw it straight. That's why we got this simple trick. We choose the trend line, choose the magnet, put to the top and hold the shift. Here, we got a straight trend line. For the trend lines or any other tools, I use my own templates. I choose the trend line, go into templates and choose. I can choose the boss, buy side liquidity, equal lows, fair value gap, sell side liquidity, targets. It's easy to use, easy to navigate because you exactly know what specific line means. The same story I did with the rectangles. For example, I mark some zone. I go to templates and choose. It's going to be the uh, auto block or it can be the resistance or it can be the daily imbalance zone. Next feature, how to keep your chart more clean and more organized. For example, you draw the trend line on the daily time frame at the top. You mark the price on a daily time frame. But if you switch to four hour time frame, this line still will be available. But you don't want to see this line on four hour time frame. That's why you don't need to delete it. You just have to press the settings, go to visibility and turn off the hours. So now you will see that trend line only on a daily time frame, on a weekly time frame, on a monthly time frame. We go into a daily time frame, it's available. If we go into our time frames, it's not available. The same story, you can choose the specific time frames. Another example, we can draw on a daily time frame, some imbalance zone. Here's the imbalance zone. We go in here, mark like imbalance zone. And I go into settings, choose the visibility. And I don't want to see this on a weekly time frame. Press OK. When we switch to the weekly time frame, I don't see this block. When I go to the daily time frame, I see this block. To use the next feature, we have to go in down to the right corner, press settings and choose auto fits data to screen. When this feature is turned on, no matter how you scroll it, your chart, everything will be on your screen. If you turn off and you start scrolling, the candles can go in out and you have to drag your charts manually. In these setting sections, I so often use the invert scale. For example, I can choose like this one and it's really helpful because sometimes it's give you that totally another perspective what's going on in the market. So if we take a look on a daily time frame on Bitcoin, you just use the inverse scale and you can see the totally another picture. Would you like to open long in this uh, scenario or you would like to more open short down? 
So sometimes it's showing you the totally different perspective of the charts. And the next feature what you have to turn on, it's countdown to the bar close. Why it's helpful? Because for example, it's a daily time frame and at the price I see under the countdown to the end of the day. The same story I can trade for example on one hour time frame and I know the candle will close in 43 minutes. And it's really useful when you trade the sessions. Another useful feature, it's a hide some drawing or some uh, indicators or some tools. We need to go to the eye tool here and we can hide the drawings. We hide only drawings. We can hide only indicators. We can hide position and orders and we can hide everything to keep our chart clean. Previously, I showed you how to hide the indicators or drawing on tools, but what if you draw a lot of things on your chart, it's so annoying and you would like to delete all of them. You just press command, select everything what you see on the chart and press delete. What if you draw a lot on your chart, you add a lot of instruments, tools, indicators for example, uh, how to hide some specific tools. I go into the object tree and I can hide turn on or turn off some specific instruments. For example, I would like to hide this FIB. Main FIB, I would like to hide that rectangle. This is really useful and can help you keep your chart pretty simple and clean. Next one, how you can save a space on your chart. For example, you work on a laptop, you don't have a big screen. Uh, you can zoom out in your browser. It's one feature. You got more spaces. If you zoom in, you got less spaces. So this is one trick. Next one, for example, you use the indicators. I use A to Z direction. Now with two indicators, we got a less space for the chart. What I can do, I can choose A to Z, for example, indicator and just drag and drop to the direction. We combine indicators in one tool and save the space. Next feature is reply bar. I choose the band use the T trading pair. Uh, the price now is around one dollar, one dollar and seven cents. How to use the reply bar in your back testing and track? Are you trade in a profit with your strategy or in losses? Choose the instrument. For example, it's going to be the band use the T trading pair on four hour time frame, and I just choose reply. Scroll it left. Choose the some specific moment what I would like to back testing. I got the sell and the buy bottoms and I can add my own settings. So the price now is around one dollar. So easy to count. Uh, let's add the quantity 1k band. So in the same way, like I could trade with a one thousand dollar and I can see the result. If I would like to test uh, the trading like with the leverages. So I use the 10 leverage. That's why I need to add 10k coins and now we can press the buy so this is our entry press play choose the speed and you can see the profit or losses from your entry we're in losses we're in profit stop for example, based on your strategy, you would like to fix your position when we hit a uh, uh, four hour imbalance zone. We got an imbalance, we hit it and you press take profit. You press sell or flatten, close position. Close position, you got entry, exit and you got your profit or losses. This is the best tool on TradingView because uh, in this way you can back testing all your strategy on total different time frames with the uh, with real result. That's why you don't have to be triggered if uh, some traders uh, show you this results because it just can be on reply. You might didn't know but inside TradingView you can have your own small trading journal. How to use it? You just go into some trading pair. For example, it's going to be the ICP trading pair. Uh, you go in here, settings and turn on notes. Now you can go to note section or just press the right bottom and add text note. For example, you open at uh, some uh, long here and you are now in the profit 1.5%. You just add it here, open at long plus 1.5% profit and add the screenshot. Press add and here is your trading notes 
is already done. Now every single time you can go back to this trading pair because you see the notes and track all your trades and track all your notes with the screenshots, what you did right or what you did wrong. I already made a video about how to work with economical lender, how to track the main events, but if you don't wanna track it on investing or on a Forex factory, you just can track all these events inside the trading view. How to do this? For example, we got a Bitcoin chart for our time frame. We press right bottom on the mouse. We go into settings and go into events and turn on economic events on the chart we turn on here we got events we can track only the future events and we can add events breaks like this one and change the color of our breaks now we can know when exactly even till uh, one minute time frame what event will be next what the data we are waiting for and what the forecast for these events. For example, we know, so tomorrow in my local time, 9 p.m., we will see the FOMS economic pro projections and the Fed interest rate decision. Here's a forecast, here's a previous one, here's the actual one. And next one, Fed press conference. So you will know this event exactly at this time will affect the price on the chart. So you can be ready. If you would like to track how the events uh, playing out before, you can track all these events and double check what's going on on the charts based on some specific events what already passed. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I'm definitely recommended to use all these tips and tricks what I showed you in this video. It will help you a lot. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button, share this video with your friends. See you next time, guys.